Hey fam, so I'm gonna be doing a series on the prerequisites I took. I know that when I first envisioned myself going into nursing school, um, like many people out there, I didn't find a lot of information pertaining to my particular school. So I'm gonna be very open throughout this journey um, and pray the Lord protects me from all stalkers. <laughs> so I am a nursing student at Miami-Dade College. My first semester will be fall 2021. Um, so yes, I go to the Benjamin Leon School of Nursing at Miami-Dade College. Um, in order to get accepted into this program, there were many prerequisites that I had to take. Um, even though I already had an AA and general education requirements were met, there were many science prerequisites I had to take, starting with chemistry. So at Miami-Dade, um, in order to take higher level courses like uh, anatomy and physiology, microbiology, you have to take chemistry. So I took chemistry with the lab in the summer of 2020. I took it in summer A and it was a six week course. So it was definitely accelerated. It was a rapid course. And the one thing I can tell you is that chemistry is math, okay? I know like, we feel like we hear chemistry and we think that it's like science heavy and don't get me wrong it is but chemistry is math you need to understand dimensional analysis let me repeat that dimensional analysis dimensional dimensional analysis is so important especially if you're going into nursing because that's what nursing math is all about. It's all about dimensional ana analysis. It's how you come up with the proper um, uh, amount of medication to dispense to your patient. Now, I believe in the hospital. I can't tell you for sure because I'm not like a medical person. I've never been a CNA. I've never worked on that side of healthcare. I've only done administrative work. So, but I assume that they have like an automatic like process for calculating um, uh, medicine uh, to be dis disbursed to avoid as much human error as possible. But of course, we have to know the basics. So in order to understand nursing math, med math, you need to understand dimensional analysis. And the first time you're going to see it is in chemistry. So I want to introduce you to a website that I created in the beginning of my prerequisite or my pre-nursing journey. Um, and it's called Nursing Journey by Tamara B. Weebly com. And on this website, I uploaded like study guides, I uploaded PowerPoints, syllabus, like any like really important information or documents that our teacher gave us, I uploaded to this website because again, when I was super excited and looking for information like this, I couldn't find it. Or you had to pay for a website to access it, like the whole document. So um, I like got a lot going on. So I'm looking at many different screens while I'm talking to you. So if you go to that website and you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see chemistry, plus the chemistry lab and the dates that I uploaded all these different documents. So you'll see in summer A, I took chemistry 10, CHM 1033, chemistry for health sciences with the lab. And at the same time, I was also taking DEP 2000, human growth and development. Um, I also put a link. I was really hype while I was taking chemistry because it was my first classes back and I was super excited. Um, so I also put some links to some uh, videos, YouTube videos, and even like some mnemonics for some of the things that we learned. Um, I felt that six weeks was more than enough for this chemistry class. I will say if you're scared of math, you are, are hesitant and nervous about it, go ahead, take it in the full term, the full 16 weeks. But I'll tell you, I haven't taken math since my early college days, it's been more than 10 years, and I got an A in chemistry, lecture, and lab. So if you're bold and you're ready to like blast through prerequisites, just go ahead and take it in the summer, six weeks, it's awesome. Okay, so um, one thing I will say is the other part that makes it possible to get an A in chemistry and do well is having a good teacher because I believe that both my lecture and lab teachers were essential to me getting the A's in those classes. I believe if I had teachers that didn't explain the concepts well, 
I may have struggled with um, some of the tougher concepts from chemistry, um, but definitely go and rate my professor and look for good reviews, overall good reviews. Every teacher is going to have one or two bad reviews, but if they have tons of bad reviews, as in like the students are saying, they don't respond to emails, they don't care, um, those are, are, are usually pretty legitimate. Um, also be wary of any professor that has all good reviews. They probably gave their, their students extra credit to get those good reviews. You wanna see someone that has majority good reviews with one or two crazy people who got an F because they didn't pay attention or didn't show up to class. That, that, that to me is a legitimate review on my professor. But for chemistry, I uploaded a lot of good documents. There's the periodic table, the good periodic table in color with all of the different, um, uh, with all the different labels that you need for the different columns. And um, I put up all the study guides. You're really gonna benefit from that. Um, and the one thing I will say is make sure that you're paying attention really well in lab because if you have a really good lab teacher a lot of the things you learn in lab will actually help you in lecture and also if you can get the lab before the lecture you are going to learn a lot of things in lab that are going to make you ace lecture like no problem like that that happened to me my lecture always came before the lab and because I had this hands-on knowledge with the lab when it came to lecture I just like breezed right through it I already knew all the concepts so that's that's another tip for you to like really ace chemistry and get the A also um, I didn't read the book for lecture uh, it just wasn't necessary that's how thorough my chemistry teacher was. I, I bought the book, but I barely used it. I think I opened it once because I was really stumped on one of my labs and it helped me with something, but I could have done without it. I could have Googled it. I could have done a lot of things, um, but I did it that, I, if you have a really good teacher, you don't even need the book. Now the lab book, you, obviously you need it because, that, well, okay, depending on the teacher, you're gonna need it because like all of the work that we submitted came out of the lab book. Like we had to copy it or we had to screenshot it in order to turn in the work. So um, try as much as possible to get the eBooks because you can search eBooks. I know people like, listen, I'm in my mid thirties. So of course I grew up with like regular physical textbooks. But one thing I learned about eBooks is that you can search them. So if there's a concept that you can't understand, you can't find it, you can always use the search function looking for electrons, looking for, um, I don't know, uh, solutions or anything you're looking for. You just type it into the search function and it's gonna show you every single page where the words you typed up, uh, where it's at. And then based on, now if you're paying attention, this is not gonna help you if you're like slacking, it's the last week of class and you're trying to make up everything, no. But if you've been paying attention and you have a general understanding and you can type in the right keywords, you're gonna know what you're looking at and it's gonna help you. So I hope I didn't ramble too much, but I'm telling you, if you understand chemistry is math and master dimensional analysis, I would say even look up dimensional analysis on YouTube before you even start the course and you'll have a jump start. You're not gonna have any problems, at least in the beginning, and you'll be prepared for whatever else they throw at you. Okay, that's it. That's chemistry, how to get an A. Love you guys. Bye.